Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota Corolla SC upgrade. Now the most notable features on this SC upgrade is its power moonroof. You also have your blind spot monitoring and your wireless charging pad. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota Corolla SC upgrade. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this SC upgrade is its daytime running lights and then if we take a closer look just over on the side you'll see your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You also have your integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors and heated mirrors and then taking a look on the inside of the mirror you'll see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with that blind spot monitoring indicator it'll actually light up just learning if there's another vehicle right beside you. You have the smart key system with it, so with the smart key system you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push on it once, it'll lock all the doors automatically, and then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is Blue Crush. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black cloth interior seat surfaces and taking a look just on your left hand side you're going to see your automatic headlights with your heated steering wheel and your window wiper de-icer. On the inside of your driver's side door you have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks and window controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function, back, Bluetooth volume control, voice recognition, you also have your lane departure alert with your cruise control mode select and seek function but you also have the paddle shifters on here as well. You do have that push button start so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button and it will start up for you automatically. Now taking a look at the multi-informational display you'll see a couple of different features on here. So if we scroll through you'll see your speedometer distance to empty and then you can also take a look at your lane departure alert, trip info, settings menu with your lane trace assist pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on and off, and a couple of other additional features. And finally you'll find your messages menu. Now taking a look at that screen you have an exterior temperature gauge as well as a digital clock. And taking a look now just at your center dash as well as your touch panel display you'll see a couple of different features on here which include just going inside your menu screen your audio phone apps as well as a couple of other additional features. Inside that apps menu, this is all part of the Entune app suite, so as long as you have it on your phone, you can use such apps as the Scout GPS app, which allows you to stream your maps from your phone onto the touch panel display. You can also check on local fuel prices or on the latest sports scores, just depending on what your preferences are. Now you have the hazard lights, temperature control settings. Underneath you'll find your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger with your wireless charging pad. So once you have the wireless charging pad turned on, you can just place your phone on top and have it start charging for you. Your sport mode and traction control on and off, matted to an automatic transmission. And I'm just going to take a closer look now at the backup camera just so you can see what it looks like. But as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you try to back into a stall. Now up top here, you'll also find your open and closed as well as your tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your trunk. And one of the nice things with the SE upgrade is it does have that keyless entry system as well as automatic trunk release. So taking a look at your key fob, you have your lock, unlock, trunk release, and panic buttons. So if you hold down the trunk release for approximately two seconds, it'll open up for you automatically. Taking a look on the back there, as you can see, you'll find your backup camera just on your left hand side and your rear hatch release located on your right. Now if you need more additional space you can fold down that 60-40 split rear seat and if you take a look underneath the floor you'll find your jack and tool kit and one more under you'll find the spare tire. So if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch you know exactly where it's located. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.